So I'm sat here thinking, like, I was just going through some of Wilder's um, excuses, some of his um, top class excuses, and I kept counting and counting and counting. I was approaching the 20 mark. I'm thinking, yo, this guy's giving <laughs> over 20, probably close to 30 different excuses. Some are pretty slept on. You know, you got your mainstream ones like, oh, my trainer spiked my water, some classic ones like, you know, the egg weights, stuff like that. Um, I just want to go through some of them and some of the least um, underappreciated ones. Like, he goes, um, Anthony Durrell um, is currently trained by Mark Breland. No, 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 no. I don't even know what the fuck the guy said. He said somebody trains Anthony Durrell when Anthony Durrell was at ringside saying throwing the towel. That's why Mark Breland threw in the towel because they wanted them to they wanted him to lose. So Mark Breland was in cahoots with Sugar Hill and Durrell was the middleman to give the signal when the towel should go in. So everything was like clockwork. As soon as Durrell gave the nod or gave the shout, the towel went in. I don't know how Wild uncovered this whole plot, but this guy is, is, is this guy's a genius. I don't know how he uncovered it, but that, that's that. genius. Yeah, it's going viral. I don't know why they think it was me. Right. These people weird. But I, 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 if it was me, I can't get nobody to stop no fight. Right. How is somebody from the audience getting your corner to stop a fight? It's weird, man. It's a weird people in this world. Ah, uh, yeah, you know that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just they made, they came up with this. They came up with this whole story that I was the reason that they stopped the fight because Sugar Hill, my trainer. What? Blow, blow, splat all the way back. Why is your hands in the middle of the in the in the, in the bottom of the glove? Why did my ear have scratches in the, deep in the inside of my ear? Because of your nails. You hear this guy? <laughs> somehow, somehow, Fury with his gypsy magic powers managed to scratch the scratch um a big chunk of skin off the inside of Deontay Wilder's ears. Wow. Tyson Fury had boxing gloves and hand wraps on he managed to use his uncut fingernails to scratch big chunks of skin out of wilder's ears <laughs> the ironic thing is in the build-up to the fight the Ante wilder was saying he's he was going to bring a six foot inch nail from alabama yes a six foot inch nail to nail Tyson Fury to the canvas and it turned out Deontay Wilder was the one that got nailed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't buy nothing he says. You know, the only, I don't buy nothing he says. The only thing that I believe in Tyson Fury that, that he said is that you gotta nail him to his car. And like I said, I brought six inch feet, and, I got brought six feet inch nails and a big hammer from Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Basically, your boy's a madman. Your boy's a madman. Let's go through a few, a few more of them. He also said he was a zombie in the ring. You remember that one? He said he felt like a zombie at the start. Well, I guess that's kind of linked to the whole Mark Breland poison. So, yeah. <laughs> alleged, alleged Mark Breland poison. Well, at first it wasn't Mark Breland who poisoned him. Keep that in mind. He said he was a member of Fury's camp that poisoned him. But somehow, I guess he did further research and he finally, finally um uncovered the culprit and he caught mark he caught mark yeah mark was the one that done it yeah really poisoned him um what else we got what else we got what else did this guy say the the arm remember the, the, there was a surgery stuff his arm was broken and all of that remember that yeah <laughs> the referee kenny bailey he felt the referee was drunk <laughs> so kenny bailey's um he could tell uh, when Kenny Bayless was giving him instructions in the changing room before the fight. He felt something was off about Kenny Bayless. And he finally dawned on him. He reckons the guy's been on a couple 
a long, long, long bender. He's been having a few alcoholic beverages. That's why, you know, that's why Wado, Wado got stopped. Oh, he also, he also said it was a, it was a, an, a, an early stoppage. He said it was just warming up. He was about to, you know, start turning up and putting it on Fury. And then that's when, you know, Darrell, <laughs> that's when um, Anthony Darrell or whoever it was, one of the Darrells gave the signal and the referee who was in cahoots with Darrell and Mark Breeland and um and Sugar Hill and the, both Darrell brothers and everyone, you know, as they saw Wild was about to turn up, they you know, they gave the signal the referee did his thing, Mark Breeland threw in the towel. That's why I lost the fight. And what what else we got? Oh, Fury's um yeah yeah he said Fury took PEDs in 2015. That's that's probably another reason why Fury, Fury beat him in 2019, 2020, 2020. So Fury took um drugs five years before the fight. So the drugs Fury took um five years in preparation for the Wilder fight in 2020. Fury took some drugs just to prepare for Wilder in five years ahead. And those drugs manifested in February, well, February 22nd, 2020. The drugs manifested and yeah, that's why Wilder lost the fight. Fury cheating again with his drugs. What's going on, everybody? This shit started to smell pretty bad, man. The more you dig, the more you find, right? No footage came out today. This clearly shows that JD in wireless corner is wiping the canvas with a towel and as he wiping the canvas little plastic bag with some white substance drops out of the towel and he rush out and grab it very fast this shit start look very suspicious especially when Wilder claimed he was drugged and he was feeling weird and now this shit pops out I bet Wilder is not happy when he see this shit on the internet man Deontay Wilder already said the main, his main goal is to get the third fight with Fury and after that he's going to sue everyone involved in this matter. He wants to sue everybody. Well, let's see how much this shit's gonna stink. <laughs> okay, okay, I just, I, just had to, I just had to add that one. Hey, hey, don't, don't tell no one I put this footage in here. Don't tell no one I, I used that footage. But yeah, that was hilarious. That's the um, Wilder didn't exactly say that one. That's one of his fans, one of you know, you know these guys. They usually they usually come up with these. You know what? You know what? At first, I was thinking, you know, these excuses they they they, they can't be coming for Wild from Wilder. I reckon these these fans are making up the excuses for him because normally Wilder usually gets his his one liners and stuff from other people, and his fans have noticed this noticed it about him key example is when he um he usually says um oh when someone fights me they're no longer the same afterwards i used to hear his fans saying that all the time all of a sudden wilder started saying it anyways back to this back to this he didn't start he didn't start this um whole crack cocaine route this is his fans started this but I don't know if he's gonna if he's gonna jack this one. I don't know if he's gonna start using this one. But yeah, this is a good one. They said um, JD's had some some crack cocaine in the bag, and he was probably um, giving Wilder some cocaine mid fight. That's why Wilder lost the fight. You, you heard what he said. He don't think Wilder. Yeah, that's footage Wilder. That's footage JD didn't want to get out. If Wilder sees that footage, JD JD's in trouble. Anyways, anyways, I'm gonna come clean here. This was supposed to be like a quick little three minute, four minute video, but I kinda got carried away here. This was just way too much fun. I'm probably gonna do another video. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna touch on this topic again because I enjoyed this. Yeah, um Yeah, I enjoyed this. Wow, there's a funny guy. The guy's a clown. Anyways, what what did I miss out? What what other excuses did the guy give? Let's go through them. Um, yeah, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.